Fears about the fate of thousands of Iranians arrested in their homeland for illegal protest. This week, an Iranian court sentenced one protester to death. Fox 26 reporter Rich Rodriguez explains Valley Iranians now worry about mass executions to halt the unrest. It's illegal to protest in Iran, but they've continued for two months. The death of a 22-year-old woman accused of not wearing her hijab or headscarf correctly spawned the protest in September. This week, an Iranian court issued the first death sentence to an anti-hijab protester. This one individual that has been sentenced to death for protesting is just the beginning. Dr. Mehdi Gajar says more than 14,000 protesters who were arrested now sit in jails. Their fate is unknown. The members of the parliament, the so-called parliaments of that regime, have said that all the protesters should be dealt with with a death penalty. Valley Iranians have taken to the streets of Fresno to call attention to family and friends seeking a better life in their homeland. The American government can do, uh, and the Europeans can do exactly what they've done to the Russians. Uh, they can uh, sanction them at the highest levels. They can uh, take their properties and freeze their assets. Dr. Gajar says Iran has been ruled by a brutal dictatorship for more than 40 years. With pressure from the West, he believes change is possible. Rich Rodriguez, Fox 26 News. Now this Saturday afternoon, local Iranians will hold a protest in northeast Fresno at Blackstone and Knees. It begins at 3.